Okay, welcome fellow SharePoint travellers. Uh, we're going to do um, the second of these little videos uh, and I'm going to show you how to make a document library. They're the interesting libraries which store all the documents that will populate all of the interactive sites, interactions uh, on sites that you have uh, in your department area. So uh, I'll show you a couple of ways that this can be done. Okay, uh, first of all we can go to edit page um, and we can choose um, new document library or we could choose view all site content and that will bring up a list which includes amongst that list a new document library or because we've already added the table of contents down here you could also click this so we'll, we'll just do these one at a time like it like it doesn't make a fat lot of difference so let's go and do view all site content. Now there's, the, there's all these libraries and things down here. So these are all interesting things that you can add to your department site. We're going to create because there are no document libraries. So we have to create one. Um, and so here we go. Wow, look at all of these. Uh, they're fantastic. Now we don't want everything. We just want a library. Okay. Now is it an asset library, a data connection library? No, it's a document library. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to give it a really exciting name. Now, if you remember back, we said we were going to call it the Science Admin Documents Library. Um, and so that is the name that we're going to use. Um, so there we go, Science Admin Documents Library. Like before, I've got my text ready in a little application, and then I'm going to paste it in Science Admin Documents Library. I can barely contain myself as I create a document library uh, and there we go well that's really it okay uh, now there aren't any documents in it yet um, and uh, but there will be but it, it's like having a filing cabinet ready okay you don't buy a filing cabinet full of documents you buy it empty and then put documents in um, so if we go back to science okay uh, we can see what that looks like now now look at our table of contents look at that Right, Science Admin Documents Library, and that is what the table of contents, um, that's what we put it in there for. Every time we add a new tool, a new thing which is going to help us collaborate and be more productive, um, it will appear there, and that's why the table of contents is there. Well, there you go, we've added a, uh, a library. And, and just for fun, you know what, I'm going to add a second one, uh, but that's going to bore you to death, so I'll do that without you watching and I'll catch you in the third video.